Welcome everyone, I'm Ted Earhart. One of the big questions I help individuals answer when we're going through the retirement planning process is when to take a pension. It's a similar question that people face with Social Security. Do you start drawing immediately upon retirement or do you defer into the future? Of course, it depends on the individual plan. Some plans offer generous credits for waiting, others offer none. Today, I wanna to focus on Target Corp, which is locally based here, so I have a lot of familiarity with this plan. This individual pension plan offers some of the most generous deferral credits that I've seen in my entire career. So that's what we're talking about today. Stick around. Now, first and foremost, where can you get this information yourself if you don't want to rely on some random guy on the internet like me? So the answer is you need to go to the summary plan description. And obviously, Target HR can provide this to you. Uh, so reach out to them. But this document is actually easily findable on the web. And in fact, I will try to put the link to this in the description, uh, particularly if you're watching on YouTube. And I'll try to get it in the comment section on some of the other platforms, depending on where you're watching. The other thing I wanna mention is with respect to the conversation today, I wanna be really clear, we're talking about the traditional pension plan. So Target has offered two pension plans historically the personal pension account and the traditional pension. Now, if you read the plan, basically if you were hired after the year 2002, you weren't even eligible to participate in this. So for purposes of discussion, this is really only relevant to people that were hired before 2003. Now, when it comes to deciding when to turn on a pension or social security for that matter, it's virtually the same type of analysis. There's a lot of factors that come into play. Okay, among them are, are you married? So you need to think about spousal benefits or survivor benefits. Obviously, how long do you think you're gonna live? And then also what we're gonna focus on here in a moment is deferral credits. And as the title of this video suggests, the target pension plan offers some of the most generous deferral or credits to delay that I've seen in my career. As you can see up here, in, this is page 17 of the summary plan description. The difference, so full retirement age for the purposes of the traditional pension plan is age 65. If you defer out till age 72, your benefit's gonna increase by over 84%. Now, let me give you one more visualization to help you visualize this. So in the center column, this is basically the data we were just looking at, I, I just flipped it upside down. More importantly, in the right-hand column, what I did was the calculation for the annual change in the pension benefit, year by year. So my point is, you get up here into your late 60s and into your early 70s, and the pension is ratcheting up nine, all the way up to 10% if you wait until age 72. Now this is important because a big factor in these decisions about when to draw comes down to comparing against alternatives. So for example, you know, if the annual deferral here was only like 2% per year, well right now you can get more than 2% in government bonds. Interest rates have gone up here in 2022 and in fact government bonds are now yielding about 4%. So obviously that doesn't look as attractive, but here despite interest rates going up in 2022, they're hanging around 4. Here Target, the pension plan is guaranteeing you again you get in your early 60s, eight all the way up to 10%. So my point is, relative to other things, delaying the target pension looks very attractive. Now, before you run out and say, I'm gonna do everything I can to defer my target pension, the last thing I need to emphasize here, this is such an important factor. Like I said, there's other factors to think about. The big one is, are you married? If you're married, you have to know that if you make the decision to delay and you die before you start collecting benefits, your spouse is only gonna get 50% of what you are going to collect. Okay, so that is a key risk that you need to consider and decide whether you're just gonna accept that risk or you're gonna do something about it like buying life insurance. That's way one, one strategy to protect against that. So that is a key factor among many to consider when you make this decision. Look, I hope this was helpful today. As I mentioned earlier, I've worked with a lot of target retirees. Just, I think it's just the nature of being based here in Minneapolis where the company is headquartered. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. If you're watching on YouTube, all my contact information, including the link to our website, is in the description below. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, I think you can click the Learn More button. That will direct you to our website, and uh, you can reach out via those means. As always, thanks for watching. I hope we'll see you in the next one.